Day on Live at 3, we tackle one of the day's big issues with our colleague from News Radio 620, WTMJ, Jeff Wagner. Well, will he or won't he be Mitt Romney's choice for VP? It's been widely reported that Congressman Paul Ryan was, uh, has made the short list of potential running mates alongside Mitt Romney. The National Review reports Ryan has submitted the official papers. So the sound off question today is should Paul Ryan be Mitt Romney's running mate? And I imagine a lot of people in Wisconsin, the answer would be yes. And of course, by submitting the official papers, yeah. what, what that means is it's not like you apply. Right. What, what yeah. they do is there's a vetting process. And it, it, when obviously you want to make sure that there's no skeletons in closets. So, you know, Mitt Romney is probably reviewing a number of people, including Paul Ryan being one. Let's start with Gordon in Greenfield. Yes, I think that Paul Ryan would be excellent as a vice president because that would get him the heck out of the congressional group. I think it, I mean, Charles, it, that, that kind of ties in with what, I mean, obviously, I think people in Wisconsin would be thrilled to see this. Mm -hmm. I, I think the fundamental question, I think most people would also agree that uh, Paul Ryan would certainly be somebody who is very, very qualified, despite his youth, right, to his right, take over. And right, if you needed that. The question is, from a political perspective, does he bring enough to the ticket? Candidates, John Kennedy hated Lyndon Johnson, chose Lyndon Johnson because he needed to carry Texas. Here's Grace in Milwaukee. I feel very strongly that Paul Ryan should not ever, never, never be the vice presidential running mate. I believe his politics are detrimental for the good of the people, and I hope he does not get it. Was, that was some of the narrative this weekend on one of the talk shows, I believe NBC Meet the Press, talked about Ryan being a lightning rod, and mm -hmm. would he be too much of a lightning rod for Romney right now in terms of some of the positions he's taken? Because but, he's been up front on the economy yeah. and other issues. Right. issues and, and really kind of going after President Obama. Right, and, and he's presented the alternative. I mm -hmm. mean, I, I think, you know, one, one of the things, like, for example, during the recall race in Wisconsin, one of the criticisms was, what, what did Tom Barrett stand for? Was there an alternative? With Paul Ryan, there's no question. I mean, he has articulated what he believes his vision is, agree with it or disagree with it. Here's Jessica in Milwaukee. I think Paul Ryan, the great grandson of Paul Bunyan, is a perfect fit for Mitten Romney. I think she was being sarcastic. Oh, I, we're, was, uh, we were yeah. going, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I missed that one, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I think it's, do you think, do you think it's a nod, Charles? I, I, I don't think he gets the nod, but either. not because of, I don't think, because he's not qualified. Right. It, it goes into this sort of chess game, you know, what can he bring to the ticket? It's clearly what Romney needs right now. Yeah, and everybody talks he's about Ohio that, right? and Florida, mm -hmm. and so the other possible running mates are Marco Rubio from Florida right. and then Portman, the senator from, from Ohio. Ohio. So when you look at things that make sense, that's what might make more sense for Romney. I, I, I would agree with your analysis, absolutely. That's a first, folks. No, <laughs> no not, not anyway at all. Another caller. Absolutely not. Oh, we're going to sneak in one more. Jim in Waterford. <laughs> no, I don't think he should run for VP. He's got some power and some clout and can get important things done in Congress. Why go to relative obscurity of a VP? Well, it'll be interesting to see. He'll be making the decision sometime soon, I predict, before the convention. I yeah, think. that's the word, right yeah. before the convention. All right, the uh, guy who's making some predictions right now about the